Hi, fourth grade. The purpose of this video is to help you get caught up in art class if you missed our live meeting during the week of October 6th through October 9th. So if you are in our Google Stream, you are going to see that we still have some of our old information from September. This week, this information will be getting trimmed down even more by either me deleting it or transferring some of this information into our virtual art classroom. So please do not forget that our virtual art classroom is a resource that you can use at any time. We are still posting videos from missed classes in the blog, so make sure you check that link out as well. Now if we look at the top of our stream, you are going to see new information for October. Now looking at our schedule, remember we do this step by step, okay, and this is the whole month. Week one is our first step here today. Today I'm going to be introducing your new choices for the month, and then you will be brainstorming ideas. Do not forget to fill out your weekly exit ticket so that you are counted for attendance. So looking at our choice board, you have lots of different ways that you can make art this month. We are going to be looking at the element of line as we kind of think about how we make art, or you can use one of the monthly drawing prompts. Now, line is a path created by a moving point, a mark, or an object. It's basically a dot out for a walk. There are many different types of lines, and there are lots of different tools that you can use to make lines. A line's width is called its thickness, and they are sometimes called strokes when referring to lines. So you're going to be watching this Robot Art School line video to get some further instruction there. Now, as you're thinking about how to make your project, there are lots of different project ideas that you could do. You can make line-inspired art with any materials that you have. Next week, I will be teaching you hatching and cross-hatching, and that is a technique that you could use in your art. Lines can be used together to create shapes and patterns. Zentangles are an easy to learn, relaxing, and fun way to create beautiful images by drawing structured patterns. These patterns are called tangles. So this is a Zentangle design that I drew that we will be talking a little bit more about next week. Artists have been using line in their artwork forever, and these are some different ways that artists have used art or line in their art as well. This next slide here has lots of different inf information about using different media. You can use anything that you have to create line. You know, don't think just paper and pencil. There are things that you can do 3D as well. You could also do one of the monthly drawing prompts for the month. Now, in your drawing, you could incorporate hatching or cross-hatching, but again, you wouldn't have to. You could do the family portrait, so read through that prompt and draw what comes to your mind there. Or you could do pencil to paper, or you could do the interesting ABCs, or you could do friendly monster. So as I was thinking about the important things you need to know from October, these are the things that I wrote down. If you were to be taking notes or writing down some important or key thoughts, these are the things that you could possibly put as well. So for fourth grade, during the month of October, I know that I have to make one project, and this project is due on or before October 30th. Now, I could make a project inspired by lines. This art can be any media. I learned a little bit about zentangling, and I'm going to learn about contour line printing and cross-hatching and hatching in the technique video coming soon. Or I could do a monthly drawing prompt, either the family portrait, pencil to paper, interesting ABCs, or friendly monster. So Lincoln Trail, please let me know if you have any questions and I will see you very soon.